I'm here with Mets reliever Brad Brock, who just joined the team recently, about a month ago now, right? Yeah, about a month. Okay, so special for you to be with the Mets because you grew up a Mets fan. Mm -hmm. Talk about your childhood as a Mets fan. How much did you come to Shea Stadium? Who's your favorite player? I want to know everything. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, obviously coming here is like a dream come true. I told some of the reporters and stuff, I grew up wanting to be a man, not like a major league baseball player. I know it's kind of weird. Some of the players, you know, they grow up just, they're so good growing up that they're just like, oh yeah, I'm going to make it to the major leagues one day. For me, it was like a dream way out in the distance, but uh actually fulfill it with the San Diego Padres and then getting to come here with the Mets now is it's uh it's been surreal and it's been awesome and but yeah I really fond memories of coming here my first game ever was here uh, I was a doubleheader against the Pirates at Shea Stadium uh yeah we went uh Shea Stadium a few times um all throughout my life got to go to the, the first series between the Mets and the Yankees at Shea Stadium um with a friend of mine and yeah, now getting to come here and put on the Mets uniform is pretty. It's been awesome, and it's it's been a it's been a fun ride. Is there anyone on the team that you're like, I get to wear the same uniform as this guy, past, present? Uh, I mean, I really like David Wright. So when I was in college and high school, he was. And it's kind of weird now because I got to meet him and you you face him a few times, stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to like stay a huge fan of his. But right. last year when he was retiring and stuff like that, it was hard not to watch that game. And you know, it's it's. To see one of the players, unfortunately, at the end of his career, short like that sure. was um, kind of tough to watch. But it, he was everything the Mets exemplified, and he was he was amazing watching him play and just how he went out there every single day, played hard, and he was an awesome player. Yeah, and you're an awesome pitcher. Uh, Who's your favorite Mets pitcher of all time? Uh, it's funny. I, I always went towards the position player side for some reason. But, Interesting. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason. I mean, I liked Al Leiter because he's from the same area as okay. me. So I was a big fan of his. and. Some of the relievers like Turk Wendell, Dennis Love Cook. Turk. So there was like some weird guys who only were there for a few years, but I mean, that was like the prime of my Met fandom was like right in the middle of high school and those were the guys on the team. So, but for some reason, I I, I love fielding. So I love Ventura, I love Edgar okay. Alfonso, I love Ray Donius. How could you not? So that whole infield there was pretty awesome. Yeah, and you and I are a similar age, so you're like speaking my yeah, childhood yeah, back yeah. to me, which is great. <laughs> Um, so I'm curious to see how many of these questions I know the answers to. Yeah, I, I hope I don't let any people, anybody down as a Met fan. So no, we'll see how we're not going to let anyone down. Yeah. We're going to do some match trivia with Brad <laughs> since he's grown up his entire life, a fan of this team. So first up, pitching question, who is the Mets all-time saves leader? Franco. Yep. John Franco. You got it. Who wore the first Mets uniform to be retired? Gil Hodges. Gil Hodges yeah. is correct. Who wore number 31 right before Mike Piazza? I don't know. You said it already. It was an answer already. He's also the all-time saves leader. Also, yeah, really? You got it. <clears throat> Did you um, know that? There you go. Yeah. Who led the team in hits in 1986? Had to be Hernandez. Had to be Hernandez. Two members of the 2000 Mets have been inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Who are they? Definitely Piazza. Uh-huh. And... Really fast, great base dealer. Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson yeah. is correct. I, I always forget who was on that 2000 team. Like, there's a lot of. It's been a, a lot long of, time. Like, yeah, there was a lot of guys who kind of moved in that way. Totally. Yeah. Um, you were drafted in 2008, which is crazy. That feels so long yeah, ago and yet so <laughs> recently. Uh, who were the Mets 2008 first round draft picks? There were two. I know Reese Havens was one. Uh huh. And maybe Ike Davis. Ike Davis is the other really? one. Good job. Okay, you were born on April 12th, 1986. Who was the starting pitcher that day for the Mets? <laughs> Doc Gooden. Sid no Fernandez. Idea. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you right yeah, now, I was born no, in July. I had be, no idea yeah, be, uh, who started crazy. the day I was born. If I knew that, that'd be pretty crazy. In that day. No, Status, I think so. anyone knowing that yeah. would be crazy. Who has the most pitching appearances all time for the Mets? It's gotta be Franco also. Also Franco. He, I mean, he's just he's the answer to everything. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Any um, reliever question to Tim. Okay, this is not John Franco. Okay. Who has the most innings pitched in a season for the Mets? Seaver. Seaver. Yeah. yeah. Can you name the four Mets Cy Young Award winners? Seaver Gooden, Ari Dickey, I think he won one, and got to be DeGrom. DeGrom. Yeah. I was going to say, you play with him every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most recent one. If I got that one wrong, that would have been pretty bad. We would have had to yeah. get it. Yeah, that would have been it. <laughs> Um, what year was the apple added to Shea Stadium? We were not born yet. Yeah, I was going to say. 84. A little less. 78. 80. Okay. All right, we tried. Cut the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, last up. Before Gil Hodges had his number 14 retired, 
who were the only two Mets players to wear number 14. Well, I have no idea. Can you venture a guess? Ron Swoboda and Ken Boyer. Honestly though, pretty good. It's all right. Like the stuff <laughs> that you didn't know was the stuff that was before we were born. Yeah, yeah. And I'm erasing the fact that we asked you who was pitching the day you were born because no one that's, knows that. That's crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, I guess you have one in a five chance if you know who's the rotation. Here, right. But yeah, that would have been tough. Still. I think you did very well. Thanks. Yeah, everything that Charles. you were alive for, you knew. Yeah. <laughs> so that was perfect. Now That's get out good. there and go win a game. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks so much for All sitting right, down no with us, Brad. Thanks for having me. Sure.